for that's your perfect time to show off to your classmates. All right, so why have we been doing the math that we've been doing all relatively to the fact to do like design and engineering and like the world and the business, right? That like real world that adults like to talk about like it's some big scary thing. No, it's not. They make it sound scary. I know, that's what I just said. Adults like to make it sound scary and I don't know why. It's because they are. To make it sound scary? No, to do math. Well, I mean, yeah, between August and So, my buddy Ron, right, this is real, is a tennis pro. And part, yeah, like he, that's his job. Yes. Yes. Well, and to teach tennis mainly. Moving on. So, the tennis court and how Ryan makes a lot of his money is a lot determined by service. Right, hence the name of this being called at your service. Now, what do we mean by service? The tennis serve, oh, right? Getting the ball across the net to land in the right part of the court. So, what we know about the tennis court is it has a Wii game that's really fun. Oh my god, who's so good at Mario World? Without saying the words, you guys essentially have told me to shut up and sit down if you don't need me, which is fine. I'm serious. Here's your info. In a moment. Right down 78 feet tall, or if we draw a picture, our entire court 78 feet long. Work with me here, Jake. We'll get to that point. 78 feet. Okay. The distance from the net to the back of the service box, this distance is 21 feet. When do these alleys come into play? When you're playing doubles. So. Okay, that's here. Oh, it's absolutely necessary. Assuming Karina can hit the ball so hard that its path is directly linear. Oh my goodness. Which you might argue is impossible, but it's not. Because for like a certain amount of time, well, really all curves are comprised of straight lines, right? Hypothetically, if you looked at the tangent points. So, if you hit something hard enough, it will be linear for a moment before gravity, like, takes effect and starts to pull it in a curve. So, this can happen. From what height must she hit the ball to have the serve just clear the net and land within the service box? Decide whether or not this would be reasonable if Karina is 5'7". Okay, I have a question. Well, what is the diameter of the ball? That does not matter. The question you keep asking. Are lines considered in in tennis? If a tennis ball touches any part of the relevant line on its first bounce, it is said to be in. Well, because a tennis ball can't bounce twice. 
So lines are in. But the numbers that we're using are the numbers that are given, really. Ooh, we also know this 27. Now, if we're being technical, this box is split. And you actually have to serve diagonally. So there's a little mark back here. But we don't care about any of that yet. If Karina is just learning how to play tennis. Yeah, she's so good on the so hard that it's Oh, wow. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, all well, because you're strong doesn't mean you've been at something for a long time. Okay, that's not the point. Okay. Wait, do how we, is your height Do, do we want to go ahead and care about all the technical rules? Okay. So. Wait, how do we get the diagonal? Oh. Let's see what they're laying out for us. The ball moves. Yeah, so it doesn't tell us anything else except for the information that's given up here, that the net is three feet tall. Karina's height doesn't really matter right yet, because actually they don't give us that at first. What we're trying to do is get the ball. We don't really even care about Karina at first. We want the ball to clear the net. And if we didn't care about Karina's height, and honestly, your height is not a restriction because you can reach. Oh, it's yeah, there's a relative restriction, right? Because your reach is going to be related to your height. you need to hit the ball from for the straight line path to clear the net and land within the service box. Wait, two yeah. similar triangles. Do tell. How do you get the base length, though? Do tell, Jason. Yeah, we'll draw the board. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Just go up there and do it. I didn't want to teach math anyways. <laughs> Seem to go on. I see what you did, but I didn't see it. 
Why do you disagree, Tom? Because you're not taking an angle of their angle. What do you mean? Like, okay, so look at that. That would be true if she was standing here. But she's standing here. So what if it's going to the same? It's just going what? No, it has to go here. It has to be diagonal. A straight line and a diagonal line do not have the same measure if they are going in the two parallel. If here is parallel line serving, here is parallel line. Also, we don't care about that. A diagonal line from here is going to have a different Love line. Love you, Peter. Straight line from here. He's saying we don't care about it being in the curve. It needs to well, be diagonal. At first, we do. That's the important then, part. No, okay, no, no, no. Stop, think. Okay, Stop okay. pressing buttons. <laughs> no, but then Ryan shows up oh, and says, Ryan again? He's a tennis pro. Uh, oh, yeah. And says, Yeah, the diagonal does matter because Karina at least has to be on the opposite side of the court before she's allowed to serve. So when we really think about this diagram, the first thing we need to do with Karina's distance is figure out that if we know the dimensions, may I? Thank you. And I'm gonna be having a fit. We're trying to figure out this, and then we're gonna lift it up off the ground. Right? So what Connor's arguing is that, like, we need this right. diagonal distance, essentially what the shadow would be on the ground, and then we need to say how high up is it, because this is going to be longer than just your 21 plus 39 or whatever that stuff was. Yeah, but the problem is we don't have the like, little green part for that we line. Do. We do. We huh? do. We just have to figure it out. Huh? Question mark for 20 what was... Uh, what was... This length. 21. What was this length? Absolutely. Very important. So this length. 60. Is 60. Did we know how big this was? Well, give us this is 27. But do we know how much of this is? This is 18 feet? No, this is actually like 10 feet. Yeah, but that other part is 21 feet. So it has to be. Yeah, it does have to be 18 feet. It's just wow. What has to be 18 feet? Wait, how is she only 5 feet tall? What is this perspective? She's not just 5 feet. You're getting way too hung up in the minutiae right now. The distance from the very end. Oh, the you mean the width of the alley? Yeah, the width yeah. of the alley. Oh. Well, I, I think it's important because we're not playing doubles, so who cares? Ooh, wait. Okay, good argument. So 27, yeah. you're saying, is more important than the alley? Yeah. So if this is 27, yeah. but she doesn't actually need to be all the way over here. She could be. But she could just be in the middle, as long as she's on the far side of the middle. What's half of 27? 13.5. Do half of that. Yeah, seriously, because they can't track the ball very well in the air. The only thing that matters is 18. 
And as long as you hit the ball before your feet come down, you can come down past the line. As long as your feet are behind the line when you make the It's like when you throw a, a ball in for like soccer, your feet are what matters. Right? If I release the ball past the line, like the, no one's able to tell. So you have a good point about right hand, left hand, but like if we're just trying to take the pure math, we said this is 60, right? That's 60. This is 13.5. Could you figure out the minimum diagonal distance? Because then we could always say, okay, bump it up a tiny bit. All right, so the minimum. 61.5? Yeah. But don't you know But that is if the net doesn't exist and she rolls the ball. <laughs> so. We actually also knew that that was the length on the other one. Oh. You're saying we need to figure out this as well? Yeah. Oh, so then we know, like, how far it is. Then we have the full length. Oh, because our similar triangle can't use yeah. 21. It needs to use the actual physical distance the ball is going to carry, so which is going to be more than 21, yeah. just over, but, but it is going to be more. Ooh. He took entire hypotenuse over long leg related to like similar ratios. Entire hypotenuse to long leg. Well, not entire. Yellow hypotenuse to blue leg, I guess we could say. Okay, fine. What'd you get? You might want to draw some kind of sketch of this in your notes. Uh, but we're working in three dimensions. I'm just drawing a bunch of triangles. So sketching three dimensions is a tad complicated. Do you think half is what's going to matter? I mean, bet your butt. If you're designing, if you're engineering, I mean, an inch matters. I hate getting these answers. 21 point what? So that, 21.525, that's, that's what we thought was 21. Oh, that's a better answer. Just move the whole picture here. So this. Well, that's like all as far as it can go, right? It's so like in the corner to like here. But then we said this goes up. So this, my yellow line's on the ground, right? This goes up three. We said my yellow line is 21.525. Middle school, so. 
individual behaviors are better than the amalgamation of good and negative decisions being made over there. Because the negative decisions being made are loud. Alright, yeah. Now and I stay off the internet for exact reasons like that. Why you know what I want to do with my winter? I want to build a new chessboard. Like you were going to Mexico. Well, yeah, but I was doing that for like four days and coming back. I don't have very much money. I'm just really hoping I stay COVID negative so I can get back here. One time, my brother went on like second grade, told um, his teacher that we were going to Mexico and he didn't go because he had family. You don't have any family to go to Mexico. <laughs> Like, was your family gonna be there? No. Oh, were you actually going? No. Oh. <laughs> did, like, did he skip school or something? No. <laughs> what was the point of this lie? I don't know. He just told the teacher that we were going to Mexico. I mean, the green light doesn't. And then she, like, came up to my office. What do you mean the green light isn't in. Well, okay, maybe it's not. <laughs> well, again, I just want to be mad about things. <laughs> Yeah, and your mom's like, wait, what? All right, so you said the green line's not important, yes. so I guess I'll hit that. No, it's not. It is unimportant. It's unimportant. Well, I'm going to leave it drawn, since one of you says it is and one of you says okay. it isn't. Oh, can you, can, can you and that yellow line on, like, add sure. on to it? That yellow yeah. line that yeah. entire yeah. line is 61.5. The entire? 39.975 is going to the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. The entire Do we need it? No. Like, what do you want me to write down? Yeah, we don't need that line. I'm going to write down. 39.975. But then you said the entire length. So I'm going to put purple dot, purple dot. Well, it's, I don't know. But yellow and orange make like yellow orange. So I can't really like, do that. What's the total? Okay. And then, and then write like a little above that right side, draw a line on this like next to it. Yeah. Oh, like for the ball? ball? I used to keep a tennis racket here. Now I think it's in my basement because I haven't tossed it in a while. Uh, it's easier to get a higher reach. I can reach higher. So that's the exact point that we're talking about here, actually. Is how high does she need to reach in order to hit the ball? It, now, the other option. Um, the, the, here, here's my tennis ball. Right, here's, I, I need to bring balls back here too. The other option is if I'm not going to serve and do a straight line down, I mean, I can just like, I can arc it, right? So I can get over the net, but we're saying if Karina's so good that she can straight line hit it, okay, let's relate these similar triangles. What do we get for X? What do we get for X? He did height over length. Right? Because we're really talking height and length. Height compared to length. Height compared to total length. So that's about like eight feet, like seven inches probably. Is that what you got from it? Yeah. That's the exact same thing I got when we did these three with the ball. I disagree. That can't be right. It was like a few hundred off. Well, it's not exactly. You said that's exactly what I got. I said that's a liar. Okay, when I misheard you. Wait, huh? Wait. Sorry, I shouldn't have that decimal there, but some countries actually put a decimal between feet and inches. Some countries use commas instead of decimals. Oh, is that why? Okay, wait. If Karina, how tall are you? So like just straight up? How tall are you? You might be really, you're taller than six feet, I'm sure. No, I'm four foot. 
Yeah. So if Karina is five seven. All right, Jake, we're gonna need to use you. You're too short for us to use you. What are you laughing at him for? All right, Jake, stand up. About 27 inches. So they think we're just supposed to know that all the time when we're... No, they think you're supposed to, like, know how to research things. Okay. Okay, so wait, so then... How many feet, though? It's like two? Oh, then yeah. Well, but part of that is, like, California. Yeah. You need to know the height of the town. Yeah, it's like... Oh. Ooh. So you're saying some of it's overlapping with Jake's hand. You can take the measurements. Well, so how many inches do we think would be overlapping? Like, how how, how big is your grip? Uh, I don't think Three inches, four inches, yeah. maybe five. Yeah, he had giant hands. <laughs> like, so if we scoot the racket down, so hold up, so the racket doesn't start the, at the top of your hand. We got to scoot the base of the racket down. So take four or five inches off the racket. It's still possible. Still possible. It might require. Karina's coach walks up and says, Karina. Go away. No. Karina's coach walks up, says, Karina, you can do even better. Oh, okay. You will have the most success with your serve if instead of serving here where they can more easily reach the ball, you serve from out here. Because... If you have to get into this service box and you get it right at the back corner of the service box, and guys, I'm serious, this is real. T- I played tennis in high school. If you serve as diagonal as you can, the ball is going to be headed off of the court. Even if your opponent is able to return the ball, imagine like Karina's over there, I'm receiving, even if I'm right handed, so I'm going that way to receive the serve and, just, and like get it back. Now, I gotta get all the way back into the court. So Karina's gonna hit the harshest angle she can from the furthest point she can. So we gotta redo our math and say, well, is this still feasible? Because she's gonna be even further away. So a couple of our measurements I think we can reuse. This is gonna be the measurement Jake thought it was. That's my bad. I don't know, I haven't gone back very often. You get paid more as a teacher if you have a higher education. Like, so when I get my master's, I'll get paid more. Oh, yeah. Mr. Owen said that you could be a fucking doctor if you get that degree. Yeah, but he's too lazy. He could get a doctorate. That does not mean he is a doctor. Would be like a governor? What if it's called a doctor? He has the title of a doctor. An academic doctor? Yeah, he could have the title of a doctor. Yeah, but not like medical doctor. Well, no, but that's not. Would you really want Mr. Allen? Like, you walk into an urgent care and you're like, I got my bones sticking out my arm, and Mr. Allen's like, no. <laughs> that would be a good job. What do we need to change from our time? So, I'm going to copy this real quick while you guys write some things down. And so I want to make you write things down, so I'm going to, like, delay a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was kind of neat. Yeah, that was cool. Back 
in the Holy Communion, and I heard the word Jesus. Why does that make you feel? Ah, that's deletable. You didn't hear a word of that. No, I think that it would have been so wonderful to hear that. Yeah. So we were back in the past. We were so young back then. So naive. So I'm at when you. So wait, this is 21. 21. That's useless. You have a big act. It's like we don't need. Oh wait, we do. (laughs) So wait, this. Well, no, the height off of the the ground is rectangular. This is so old. Are you trying to like the middle? Oh no, we're the we're the ball. Oh, we're not. That's an unknown quantity. So what we want? This is so difficult. We want the ball coming from here to here, but it's starting high up. Okay. So let's get some like elevations, right? So the elevation back here is what we're figuring out, right? And we know the elevation here is three feet. And actually, some of the best tennis serves clip the net. Because your opponent, seriously, because it still counts. It still, like, it hits the net, but it goes over. So when people argue three feet, also, the center of the net is slightly lower than the outsides of the net. There's actually a very specific regulation of this. So when, like, professional tennis, they measure everything right before the, the match. And they crank, like, millimeters. Like, it is that precise, because people have practiced their serve over and over and over again with these exact measurements. So we're going to use three and say the ball will make it over at three. But so that's three feet up from the ground. Is that what the... What measurement? I feel like the way that you're... We need to figure out. We need to figure out this first, right? Yeah. Well, we need to figure out the opposite. From the diagonal, we need to measure the angle. Oh, are you? Wait, what? Wait, you mean we need to figure out? I need to switch colors. We need to figure out this. We should not use trigonometry, guys. Yeah, but we don't know the angle. No, we do know. Well, we know, right? Guys, guys, okay, so make the big triangle. The one that goes from like all the way on the right and uses the big one. So, big boy. Big boy. This? Yeah. That's all the one that has that's 50 foot base line. and then 27. So, wait, what is that in total? That's 60 foot. I'm sorry. That is and then up is uh, 27 foot. Yeah. Uh, I see where I think you're going. And with then this. now we can use proportions. No, just kidding. <laughs> we can no. use well, it's kind of what we're doing. It is the no. sine to the negative three. You're wrong. So it's okay. to the negative three. Um, it's a proportion. Twenty-seven right? over sixty. Hey, these are both multiples of three. Yeah. Are they? I just thought I'd point that out. Okay. <laughs> My brain wanted to say that. Four. Wait, what is 24? That's the angle measure. The angle? Is that what you guys want? Is that what we need? I don't know. Yes. Maybe. Don't we need to know the red length? I don't know. Of like... No, we don't need that. Okay. That part's not important. Okay. And then you plug that into the triangle with the 21. Red is 9.45. Right? Just kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I... Or Connor wants to tell me to like, shut up and you don't need that. And Jason wants to solve it. Nine point what? It's unimportant. No, wait, yeah, just wait, 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 wait. What? Oh! Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have 
I think you need a bath to get the yellow. I think you need a bath. No. Okay, if you found the angle, then you could use the angle to get the yellow. But if I didn't find the angle and I found the red, I think this is important. Wait, how do you find the red? They're similar times. Oh my gosh. So if we go 27 compared to 60, that's going to be the same as red line compared to 21. So you did an extra step, haha. Well, actually, I did a different step. It's 23 I think it was to the extra. No, because you don't have to do the red step. 23.03. What? 03. So that's. That's not going to be the base of our service triangle, right? The actual triangle that our ball is going to take. So now we can elevate the three feet up. Does it say? So I'm going to clear. Well, so we don't have to try so hard because this is kind of in three dimensions. I don't know what time. Yeah, just over here. I'm just going to pull out a random board. Uh, 8th at 12, 18. What's it say? Oh, yeah, that's I right. I want to do it. I want to do it. Uh, I didn't have my time. Yeah, you have. You still have it. Man, I'm going to jump to the whole thing. So, wait. So, we said this was this on the ground was. 20, 23.03. And then the, uh, the, the, wait, wait, wait. So what was it? 21.56. Wait, make another line that's from the yellow to the red. So then here, this goes up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was on the ground? Yeah. On the ground. And then green plus yellow is 55 for me. We have a green and yellow mixed good. No, it's 65.715. It's not exactly 65. What? me to do this because we don't really need this distance because we don't really care about this distance what we care about is just this height so we don't need the height the new hypotenuse right because the new hypotenuse is kind of irrelevant so this is the base right although it's on a diagonal and it looks like a hypotenuse that's the base of our triangle and this is going to be similar. I thought our triangle was 3 and 23. So if we do 3 over 23.02 equal to height over, you said 65.8. reach that tenth of an inch. That's going to matter. Or actually, this is tenth of a foot. Or hundredth of a foot. Okay. 
Well, because there's 12 inches, so every inch is less than 10%. So this is a whole, this is Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, uh, 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 What angle should it hit the ground at? Uh, oh, uh, 20, 24.227. Two, two, <laughs> <laughs> that was That feels way steep. So we're still, still saying the height is like 8.57? It's 7 degrees. Wow, that's a really tall thing. <laughs> oh, because the net isn't actually that tall in comparison to those that I was at. This picture makes it look like the net is like a third of the length of the 21 feet. <laughs> like the height of that net. Yeah, drawing in perspective is hard. Yeah, I, mean, I can draw it better. <laughs> so tomorrow, we're going to apply this sort of, well, no, a, a different application of angles and trig and things like that. But we're going to look at how pool sharks are able to do, not like swimming sharks, but like, like, like pool sharks. Oh. We're going to look at how pool sharks are able to do what they Shark do and like how it's pool. really just so all math. A really good pool players are called sharks. Um, There's a shark in the pool. It's like an addict, like a minnow. Also, I hate sharks. So tomorrow we'll look at pool sharks. We'll we'll uh, teach you guys the math of how to play billiards. Legit, if no one's ever taught you that an entire game of billiards is just math, I'm about to blow your mind. Well, like I'm pretty sure you told us that every game ever. Well, no, but for real, like when you go to line up your next shot in billiards, you should be doing a math computation, and that should all but guarantee that your shot goes where it's supposed to go. No joke. It's actually not a very difficult computation either. Wait, really? Yeah. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. I will catch you later. Uh, I mean, that, like, literally, if you look up how to play pool, it'll teach you, oh, hey, look, it's all just math. Oh, hey, look, you're, you're doing a math class, but you got to watch.